The easiest way to say what Ignite is, is that it is a cross between uh, the one show that maybe you've seen on BBC, which is a, it's a, it's a programme that's got lots of uh, different segments, media segments, chatty bits, a cross between that and I guess you could call it sort of messy church for adults. Very interactive, uh, quite loud at times, uh, quite kind of messy, both in terms of stuff that we use and also actually people's lives, because uh, that's what doing life is. So that essentially is what Ignite is, and it's aimed at people who don't necessarily know church that well, don't know what's involved, don't want to do church in the way that maybe their parents used to or that they see on TV, um, and just want to be a bit more relaxed and a bit more freer about it. I think that's what excites me the most. Um, the ethos of Ignite, its kind of core DNA, uh, is that it's based around friendship. It's based around building genuine relationships with people that values and loves and doesn't, isn't pretentious and doesn't uh, make any conditions about coming to faith or about how often you stand up or sit down when a hymn's being sung because we don't do that kind of stuff. It's about um, loving the person uh, because God first loved us and allowing them to to find themselves in a place when they're ready uh, to maybe choose to follow Jesus. So essentially the Ignite Enabler is to do what we just talked about in terms of uh, the ethos and the DNA of Ignite. It's to befriend people, it's to um, to have a genuine love of people and kind of love interacting with people from all walks of life. Um, it's about valuing the person and helping them to discover Jesus and also maybe discover a bit about themselves and to grow as a human being. Um, I think the harder part is, is how we communicate that in this kind of day and age when church is perceived as irrelevant or, or too traditional or too boring. Uh, so the person needs to be creative, uh, needs to not take themselves too seriously, to have a joke and a laugh and, and to enjoy laughter in an Ignite evening. We kind of really look for that. Um, and to think about what's the best way to communicate God to this community and to this generation that makes sense and is accessible uh, and is fun and interesting.